here with Moira Bushkimani, who has another alias that I won't tell you right now. And uh, we're going to talk to Willem, who is in charge of the attic. But first, we're going to talk to the artist. He selected three for this exhibition. He selected you, Moira, and Janice, and Petraeus. I never say his name right. Petraeus. 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 Porteros. <laughs> so tell me, Moira, what did you do here? These look like bones. What is this? Uh, it looks like a mask. What is it? Right here. Um, basically, it's... This is the bearer of inspiration. Pardon me? The title of the piece is the bearer of inspiration. What's it made from? Um, it's made from plastic. Um, you see, this would be the top of a jerry can. Uh -huh. The mouth would be the where the water or whatever liquid comes through. And this is the handle. Handle um, of a what? A jerry can? Of a jerry can. It's plastic. And then I uh, use paper mache on the top and fabric. Uh -huh. and, and the bones? Um, and the bones, yeah. These are goat bones that I collect in my area. I found objects such as so I... And I really enjoy using bones in my work. You, ju you use just goat bones? Yeah, just goat bones. And teeth? The teeth are cow teeth. Ah! So yeah. it's your bearer of inspiration? Yeah. Uh -huh. So now tell me what is on the side, on your side. Is that a sun or what is it? Um, I'd actually prefer to start on this side so that it makes more sense because it's kind of like, you know, in through one ear and out through the other oh, okay. kind of thing. And um, this would be the abstract um, information that comes into us to, you know, it's messy, it's not, you know, uh -huh. it's not whole. And then, you know, how we process it into something that's intricate or, you know, has structure. Oh. So, yeah, that was my way of expressing what happens to this character, this bear of inspiration, is that it takes in things and then it creates from them. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, I think there's another piece in this room. Mm -hmm. So let's go around. Yeah. That's Janice's. Yeah. Here we go in the, in the closet. And we are... There's Janice's again. And now come over here and tell me about this. Yes, tell me about this. So, this piece is kind of speaking about something I experience as a woman, and I feel a lot of women share this. Um, it's kind of like the feeling of being kind of used, and then, you know, like the way you do with your clothes, and uh -huh. you have something that you like wearing, and then... You know, when you don't need it, you just hang it up and it's not it's of no use until you have use for it. Uh-huh. Um, basically. And So that's why you use coat hangers. That's why I use coat hangers. Because you know the coat hanger is something that we use to hang up our clothes, right? And um, and it's kind of like suspending it's like to suspend these these clothes. Uh-huh. And, and so what is what is what's the mesh? The mesh is just kind of showing like the various the various ways in which our person is policed, our bodies are policed. Mm -hmm. So you've got you know you've got something that's stopping you from exposing your breasts or even enjoying your breasts unless it's like um, you know I'm gonna skip that for a second. And mm -hmm. the same mesh is involved here, and there's the gap because. You know, we know what women are used for a lot. Uh -huh. And oh. um, this doll is something I collected because I do do found objects. And these are all found objects. Oh. Um, this I collected somewhere near River in Buruburu last year. And it spoke to me about how, how we're kind of like disempowered and you know, it's headless and it has no hands and its hands are inside the mesh. And so basically, I felt that this was my way of expressing how we're trying to pull out, you know, I'm trying to pull out of that, of this situation of feeling like this, wow. whether or not I'm headless. Oh, wow. So tell me what this, this dangly thing is here down, down below. 
Um, I would call it a wrecking ball. Uh -huh. And um, it's also a found object. Uh -huh. And I felt that it was showing the weight of the situation because this is this seems to be very flimsy, somewhat. Uh -huh. And um, it goes back to that whole analogy of the ball and chain, uh -huh. oh. um, which is how people like to describe how men try to describe their wives. Oh wow! So okay. I felt that it was showing. Um, it was a way to show how I feel about this situation. And oh, it's so it's a bit of a bleak it's, it's statement. Quite, it's quite bleak, except for this trying to come out. Because oh, I wow. think that that's, that's the hope in it. Oh, fantastic. So now, Janice, let's see, tell me about this lady. She's very interesting. Uh, um, well, this piece is about uh, feminine power, feminine energy, and how it's usually exploited especially through sexuality uh -huh. but feminine energy is connected also to the mind you know it's not just independent over here so um, despite everything a woman thrives this piece is just about that yeah. wow that is very powerful yeah that's excellent wow well thank you so much okay. All right, I'm here with Pe Petros Yunde. He's one of the trio who's in the art attic space for this exhibition this weekend. Uh, Petros, please give us some sense. Where are you based? I'm based in a uh, studio called Brush 2 at Sony. Ah, uh huh. And you're in this exhibition with um, Moira? And Janice, right? Yes. So tell me what this piece is about, because this is very interesting. What's going on here? Uh, I'm looking at how we move into new things, the mm -hmm. unknown in life, and the endless possibilities that may come about with it. But where is our face? Why don't we have a face? Because we, we don't know fully what really goes on with the unknown. Uh -huh. So you can't say that you're complete. In their oh, uh huh. So should we look and see at something else that you've done? Where did you go to school to study art? I went to Kenyatta University to study where? art. Where? Kenyatta University. Who were your favorite lecturers? Admit. She was the best. Yeah. Why? What was so good at you? <laughs> There, there's so much I don't even know where to start with. Tell me. Yeah. Yeah, she, she really makes you think. Oh. And practically, that's like giving you a huge step in whatever you're doing. So when did you graduate? Uh, supposed to be next year, but oh, you haven't graduated. No. Uh huh. Yeah. So which year are you in? Uh, uh -huh. Is this supposed to be the first? Oh, great! So, what made you decide to move over to Brush 2? Uh, getting more insights. Huh? More, getting more insights on art, basically. Uh -huh. Will you go back to graduate? I guess that's for the future, and we really don't know about it. Ah, yeah. okay. Thank you. Yes, hi, I'm here at the Attic Art Space with Willem. <laughs> and Willem is the man who took the dare and decided to start the art space upstairs in his house in Nyari, Nairobi. So, Willem, welcome and tell us why you did it. Um, why I did it was, um, well, getting to know the uh, contemporary art scene in Nairobi a bit better, I thought it might be a good idea to provide with a platform for a young upcoming artists. So I started to attic with two main reasons, for, for two main reasons. One, provide with a flat platform. Two, to have fun. Uh -huh. but actually, that, that was it. 
Uh huh. Yeah. That's one. And then you said there were two. No, no, it, it has fun and, and provides with the, the platform because the fun thing is also very important. I think it's 50% of the importance too, to, to just have that conversation, have fun, have a discussion about art, agree, disagree. Um, yeah. So. Who are some of the artists that are here? Over here now. Yes. So we, we have now uh, Moira Bushkimani, uh, we have Petros uh, Ndunde, and uh, Janice Seba. Iche. Around. Seba, Seba. <laughs> Let us introduce two of the visiting artists that are here. Yay! Seba, come on in. Ladies, come, in. come into no. frame. No, I'm not an artist. One is very shy. Just here as yes. moral support. Okay, number two. Hi. Seba, Hi. Hi. Yeah, you may oh. dive. <laughs> Now, Seba, where are you from? Oh, uh, uh, who are, where are you, Seba? Where, where are I'm, you based? Uh, at Brush 2. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Take your hand from your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at Brush 2. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When did you get there? Last year, October. Great. Now, why did you come today? I'm coming to see Janice, Moira, and Peter's work and support them. Uh huh. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And your friend is who? Yvonne. Yvonne, come on in and say hi. She's not. Yvonne, yeah. no, it's not pretending. Join it's the just, crowd, Yvonne. This is no. not really my kind of what? Um, environment, so it's I'm happy to I'm be here. Yeah. Culture, Seba huh? is trying to yes add a little culture cultures. into my life. Mm. Oh, good. What yes. do you do? I am a student, actually. Where? In the University of London. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm about to graduate with... Um, what subject? Law. Oh, good. Yes. Mm. Well, good. That's great. I love the space. Keep up the good work. You Thank you. <laughs> yes, keep good. supporting good. Kenyan artists. Good it's to have you fantastic around. to see that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much.